What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode we struggled quite a bit with this last block section and more importantly it's been a couple days so I don't remember entirely what happened. Um, I do remember that we we chatted with Badalyn a little bit and she was trying to tell us that it's time to wake up but, but alas here we are pursuing whatever may lie ahead whether it's a bird, whether it's actually granny, whether it's uh, you know so something way beyond what I can fathom. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, we have more of these these disappearing blocks, which were rather troublesome before. However, uh, thank you to those of you that commented on the last episode. Um, I appreciate a lot of the, just kind of the context um, and a little bit of extra information that addressed a lot of what I was kind of struggling with. But nevertheless, let's, uh, let's hop into this episode. Let's start looking at this level. We don't have a, you know, set of binoculars to look ahead, but just taking a look at the platform layout, right? We're gonna need to land on this blue one. And then, presumably, ooh, interesting. So, it goes from the blue to the pink. Which makes me think we need to go off the blue one, immediately get to the pink, bounce to the left to get the, uh, yeah, so blue and then I feel like we don't have enough time to dash with the blue or to, you know, fall over with the blue. How do we get that key? <laughs> how do we get that key? Because just looking at how much time we have, right? If we go over, you know, we bounce off the blue block, we go to the we dash to the right because we'll probably need to. We may be able to make it over, but we but we also may not. <laughs> um without dashing that is. But by the time we fall and get the key, I mean, we're going to have to probably dash up and then bounce off the, the pink blocks really quickly so that we can bounce off of the yellow block at the top, which will then send us over. We'll need to stall a little bit, actually, before we can bounce off of the yellow one and then dash into the blue one to dash into slash bounce off of that pink one again and fly over to the right. Interesting. Okay, so I had a lot more time than I expected. Um, that's actually quite surprising, but it's also good news because I thought that that would be even more difficult than I'd anticipated. Okay. Oh no, I should have fast fell. That, yeah, that actually, uh, that went a lot better than I'd expected. Oh man, I got I got tricked into thinking I was gonna land on the the yellow one. I gotta stall a little bit. <laughs> That's how I fast fell. I should really just commit to um, what's it called? Just bouncing off of the uh, the blue block there. Either way, this segment doesn't seem quite as frustrating as the last segment was proving to be. I mean, I also acknowledge that I kind of made that segment a little bit more difficult for myself. I also, come on, I gotta remember to dash down there. Dash and or fast fall down there. Something. Because how it's going now ain't gonna work. And I have to remember to dash up there too. Oh, that was <clears throat> unexpected. I bet that's the uh, the speed run route through this. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to try it now. That timing had to be really tight, I'm sure. Oh, something else that I brought up in the last episode was... Um, that I was somewhat concerned how the the cycle wasn't starting in the same position each time I started a level again and one of the uh, commenters kindly pointed out um, I believe your name begins with a C it's it's like CAD something um, you're the same commenter who pointed out before the uh, what's it called the golden feather technique so thank you 
um, that because these block these block levels are on a rhythm, and the rhythm stays the same regardless of when you die, so it, that might be slightly off. The rhythm doesn't reset, just which block, um, I guess, is the next block to change colors will. So now we've got some more block segments. It's so interesting, there's like a little rumble in the controller every time they switch. Uh, luckily, we can actually look ahead at this room, though. So, huh. This is rather interesting, is it not? <laughs> so what I'd imagine is we're going to have to do is actually wave dash off of this platform on the left so that when the block forms, we are in the middle of it. And we can wall jump all the way up to the top of that. And then we can um, bounce off of the wall, get the double dash, and then we'll need to dash to the right and upright in order to get over this block slash to the right of this block, grab onto the wall, jump off so we can get that double dash, and then, oh boy, and then, we need to fall and dash into this middle area here, cling to the wall on the left, jump off as it switches to blue, and grab the blue on the right, and then when that's going away, we we let go and dash up right, I believe, and then hopefully grab onto the the blue segment on the right. That last bit's gonna be kind of difficult. All right, well we'll we'll give it a go. Uh, I I used my jump, I used my dash. I should not have done that. That's the whole point of the wave dash, is to not have used it. And that looked to be a little bit too early. Okay, so maybe I don't necessarily need to save my jump there, because that seemed to be a little bit too fast. And I don't know what happened there. I, I must not have gotten the, uh, the jump I was expecting. That's going to prove pretty tough. This is a pretty cool concept, though. I like it. Dang, that's tough. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to make my way from the the inner gap, jump off, and then dash up to maybe grab onto the, the right side of the blue block, and then do that? That said, I mean, just looking at the timing, right? I need to wait through the entirety of the, bl of the pink cycle in order to make it through. And that just looks like it's going to be so difficult. I feel like I need to climb as high up on that blue block as I can, jump off, and then fall into the double dash. So I have as much hang time as I can possibly get. I think that's going to be what I try. Dang, that is not a lot of time. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to come up with something else. No doubt about that. Maybe... Maybe the point is that I'm supposed to make it through... No, I doubt it. The level design makes me think I'm supposed to stop in that intermediate area. But the thing is, like, how do I get past that part then? I just, just do not have enough time. Hmm. So that's what I was thinking is I can, um, I'm going to try that again. So I climb up and then the idea would be that I get up there and then jump up as high as I can. Man, I gotta I gotta get used to that timing. Oh, and I didn't even I didn't even get the wave dash there. I guess I guess the surprise there means that I was getting relatively consistent with them. Oh, I don't know, guys, because then I have to wait through the entirety of the blues cycle to make it over. So I don't know. Is there like an advanced technique I should have in mind that I don't? 
I don't know. Because look at that, I fall the entirety of the, the way. <laughs> I fall the entirety of the screen there. Just like that. Yeah, there's no way I make it over there. Right? Like... Hmm... I'm missing what's the plan so I need to get the double dash and I need to dash through to the right I'm pretty sure I need to get the double dash crystal when the pink block is pretty close to the end of its cycle and in order to do that that's what I was saying I, I have to go up as high as I possibly can on that block on that blue block but even then that doesn't look like it's proving to be enough And I'm definitely going to need both dashes to make it to the top right of that pink block. So it's not like I can jump off, off of the blue block and then use a dash upwards to stall. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This is looking really tough. Yeah, that's way too late. That was surprisingly interesting. Whoa. That seems so weird. That's it seemed like it should have transitioned, but it didn't. And again, am I am I missing something? Try a few different things here. Oh, man, that was. I felt like that was as close as I'd ever gotten. Yeah, that was definitely as close as I'd ever gotten. That was too early. Come back, Double Crystal, come back! Come back! Why wasn't it coming back? Dang, I did not expect to um, to get the double crystal there, but I guess it's a lot more feasible to obtain it off of that jump than I had anticipated. Oh man, look at that! Look at that! That's the first time I made it all the way across the the pink block gap, I guess. But but I must have done it too early. Maybe I have to stall a little bit more when I'm using my two dashes. Darn it. I tried to climb up as high as I could with no luck. Oh man, I really tried to stall there. trying to buy as much time as I can, but 
I'm obviously not having a ton of luck. Like, look at that! What am I supposed to do? Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This is like a... This isn't as much of an execution thing at this point, as much of a, like... I just don't even know what's gonna work. Maybe it has to be off of that first one. Ah, oh, that was not a good... That was not a good wave dash at the beginning. Doomed from the start. That was close. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try and do it off of the, uh, the first jump. If I can. Well, guys, I hope you're ready for this episode's obstacle. <laughs> it's gonna be me sitting on this screen for quite some time. Ooh, maybe it's something like that. That was pretty cool. Still didn't work. <laughs> but, but maybe, maybe it's possible if I execute a little bit better or something. Really? I thought that it would come back. Hmm. What happens if I'm inside the block when it, like, spawns? Just out of curiosity. Let's see here. It just won't go? Yeah, it just won't go. Interesting. So I think I need to take advantage of that. Hmm. If I wait like all the way until the end of the pink blocks like cycle or something like that, when it's disappeared that is, and then fall into its like detection, it won't turn solid again until I immediately leave it. And maybe that's exactly what I need. I think I'm going to try and, and utilize that if I can. I don't know exactly how I'm going to time that and create that opportunity, but it seems like that might be the way to go. Yeah, I don't know exactly how I'm going to set up that timing and all, but... Yeah, that's totally it. That's totally it. Um, that was obviously uh, helpful. Unfortunately, because it disappeared as soon as it came back in, in tune with the rhythm, um, I died right away, and I didn't have the chance to go up and get that second double jump, but I think, I think we're onto something. Darn, I was too late there. I had to get in that first cycle. Hmm. Okay, focus time. The music is so intense, too. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Darn. I at least feel like I have more direction now. I think... I think that's nice. I have a plan that I feel relatively confident will actually work. Now I just need to... do it right. And I'm not doing it right.
part of it is that I'm not trying to utilize all of my stamina when I'm in this center part. But it's proving to be so difficult to then time the, the very top where I'm clinging to the top of this little segment. Oh, almost. I should have gone a little bit earlier. But that was pretty close there. Oh man, almost. If I could just, if I could get this wall jumping segment in the center down a bit better, oh, I'd be somewhat close to actually having things happen how I want them to. Because if I fall on the right side of the blue block too far down, ah, uh, that was, I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, then it takes me too long to get back up. Oh man, that was the farthest we made it. <clears throat> that was the farthest we made it. All right, so let's let's anticipate how this is gonna happen, right? So we cling onto this, we jump off immediately. And what happened? We fell to the right. I think, just from how much time I had there, I might have time to double upright dash. Because I fell pretty low. We might have time to double upright dash and cling to the upper right corner of that O pink block. And then of course when it switches to blue, we would um, we would fall and cling onto the right side there, or on that right longer blue block. And then, that'd be kind of tough, wouldn't it, right? Because then when the blue goes away, what do we do, right? Um, we probably wall jump to the pink and then wall jump through the long blue block to try and make our way over to that right blue block. Although we're obviously not, we're not going to have a dash for any of that, which is going to make it difficult. So, interesting. It may be worthwhile to just try to wall jump off of the upper right corner of the pink O block as soon as we get up there. I guess as long as the blue block has not shown up yet. Because that long blue block won't show up if we're in the middle of it. Granted... Ooh, the timing is gonna be tight. Because we need to... we need to get to that right small blue block in order to actually make it uh, through the room. Ooh, that's... that's tight. As always, we'll, we'll see what we can do, I guess, right? <laughs> There's not much more we can do. Aw. Oh. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully in the future it's a better effort than that. Okay. Oh, I didn't, I didn't place my, my horizontal dash very well, so I didn't have the, the vertical height I needed there. Darn, I should have been quicker. But I am at least getting a feel for that earlier segment now, which is nice. As in how to go about these two blocks here. Okay. Interesting. So I actually, I tried to dash right there um, and ended up dashing upright, but that's how we got inside the O there. So... We'll definitely still need to feel out the timing of that segment there. Ooh, we almost had it, guys! I think we actually almost had it there. You know what? I'm, uh... I'm really getting in tune with the music in the background. Darn. Yeah, the, the music in the background is actually pro proving really helpful. It's like a nice little metronome. Oh, I was just too late. Oh, what was that? <laughs> that was some weird clinging.
Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we did it. Nice. I am, I'm very proud of that little segment there. <laughs> Especially at the end. Okay, so now we've got a lot going on. We can't exactly preview what's happening. So interestingly enough, I think what we're going to have to do... Oh, so we're going to have to jump and then dash into these... You'll see, I mean, the blue blocks form one little pillar, and then the yellow blocks form another little pillar. We're, while we're in these pillars, we're going to need to then cling to one side and then dash, or jump, wall jump off of it, and dash into the adjacent pillar. And then progressively do that. But we need to do so by falling a little bit, dashing to the right and then upright, and then clinging again and replenishing our double dash there. That's pretty tough. Okay, so I mistimed it there, obviously. <laughs> we'll want to do so when the, the yellow pillar is lit. Wait, what? Oh, I thought I had double dash. Great. Great start, great start, great start. Uh, why did I go up so high? Also, the, the beat is a little bit slower in this room, so it'll take some getting used to. Awesome. We made it through there. Ooh. You guys can already hear how much quicker the beat is. We got quite... Oh. It's actually not too long of a room, but it looks like there's quite a bit packed into it. So we're going to need to utilize these red balls that are going to propel us. Um, and what's really cool is you can tell immediately, this is all going to be about timing, um, 100%. They have this blue spiked block and this pink spiked block so that you can tell the exact point in the pattern where you are, um, which is what's going to be necessary to make it through this right part, because it'll be 100% dependent on that. So what we're going to need to do is go to the right with this red ball and then dash straight down to get to this one. We're going to go red ball to the right. Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah, we got to go to the right through the blue block into that second red block. And then what? Then we go to the right again, and then we dash up to get this one. Then we go to the left. And then we get both key cards, and then we dash up, and then go to... What do we do after that? I think we go right, and then dash down right. But the key here is that because this is all relatively automated, we just need to get the exact right timing. So we'll experiment a little bit with how the timing works. I'd imagine this will be something that is relatively, like... Once we get it, it'll all just kind of work automatically. That was not the right timing. <laughs> You're close, though. Okay, and that was a little bit too late. Still a little bit too late. Maybe... Is there something I'm missing? We're just a bit too early. And I'm trying to time it so it's like right at the end of this, uh, this blue segment. Yeah, we definitely still have a little bit of time to spare too. But it definitely needs to be while that blue block is lit. That was still too early. Hmm. Oh, 
man, this is tough. What it's worth would it be just like too simple if it were all literally just one you know bout of timing right the thing is as soon as i go through this and hit that the second red ball i have to choose right and i can't dash up unless the intent is i dash right and then dash out of it upright where the pink block is and then fall to the red one to the third red ball let's try that how quickly do these come back decently quickly because what I'm thinking is, even if I dash up right out of this, as soon as I land in that red ball, the pink ones are going to be active. So I feel like I need to go up to get that key card, and then dash back down to get back into the red ball, and then go to the right. This is so funny. This is throwing me completely for a loop. I actually think, contrary to what's in, what seems intuitive, they actually want you to route this really differently. So you dash through this blue block here into the red ball, you dash to the right, and then you dash out of the red ball in the upright direction to where that upper left pink block is, fall to this red one here, and then direct that straight up. And then when you're in where the blue block is, you dash to the left to get into that left red ball there. And then you dash down and you dash out of it to the right. <laughs> or, or what? Or then, or then, so you go, all right, so in this upper red ball, you go straight down, and then, rather than dash right, you go back to where you were just before the blue block, and then dash up right out of it again to fall into this central lower red ball. And then you maybe go up to where the blue block is again, and then dash to the right. So instead of going to this left red ball, you go to the right and fall into this red ball. Wow, which you can then, da which you can direct downward, and then you dash out of it either straight up or in the upright direction, depending on how this key card block moves. Based on the level design, I'd imagine it's going to move straight towards the top of the screen. So I bet we can actually dash straight up right and maybe even cling on to it if it's not moving quickly enough. Wow, so the routing here is actually significantly more complex than you'd expect, and I should have I should have known it wouldn't be that simple as much as getting, you know, the first timing and then kind of autopiloting through the the red balls. All right, so we're going to go down here, right, dash up right, fall into this, direct up, dash left, down, dash up right, into this, direct up, dash right, fall down, direct down, dash up right. Now, now that I've said that, you guys have seen many times in the past, let's see if I can actually get my hands to do it, right? Okay, so a little bit earlier. That was not how I expected that to go. Okay, so that was... That was at least um, the right timing to get to that blue block. Okay, so the timing was a little bit different there. Darn. So I can afford to dash straight right there. Really, was I a little bit late? What? Why did I... Hmm. 
Gotta get a better grip on the controls here. Otherwise, that's uh, not gonna turn out very well. I think I might have been a little bit late there too, actually. Yep. <sighs> it almost brought me up into the electricity. But there we go. Okay, so we made it through that room and we are we are making some good progress, ladies and gentlemen. And now we have another long room to the right. For some reason, I feel like we're getting really close to the end. And again, they show us these three blocks in the beginning to let us know where in the path we are. Is this a secret here? No, it's not. Okay. I mean, I've missed, I've completely screwed up rooms in the past because I didn't notice passages like that. So forgive me for trying. Um, all right. So we're gonna have to wave dash here to make our way onto the blue platform there. We're gonna have to wave, do wave dash off of the blue platform to make our way to the pink one. The question is, what do we do after the pink one? So after the pink one goes, we're gonna need to do something while this yellow block exists. And because our next goal after that is this blue one, and there's this little alcove at the bottom of the yellow block, presumably, we let go of the pink block and dash to the right to grab onto the right side of, or the non-spiked part <laughs> of that yellow block. And then right when that's about to go, we jump up and over this blue block, which is gonna, actually gonna be a really tight timing, I think, um, to land on this spring so that we can spring to the right under this pink platform and then wall bounce off the right side of it to get the double dash there. And then what? So after the pink, it'll be the yellow. But by the time we're landing there, the yellow may actually be gone. Would it be? Because our, our last goal is getting onto that blue spring. Maybe... So it would be pink and then it would be yellow. Maybe the goal is wall bounce and then dash right so we're in the blue block. And then dash right and then <clears throat> like fall out of it wherever we do and then go upright to land on the spring. That's what I think might be the case. I kind of want to try that. So now we'll need to get our, get our timing, right? Nice. Excellent start. Oh, what? I didn't grab onto it? No! Run, Madeline, run! Okay, so you definitely need to wave dash off of the uh, the blue platform in order to have your dash for this segment. Whoa. That was very strange. And I also, I, I gotta be quiet so I can listen to the, uh, what's it called? the timing here. Darn, I, I messed it up. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta listen real quick. Sorry, guys. up the jump timing. Hmm. Is there a better way to be going about that? Oh, there totally is. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try going in the yellow block.
Okay, so that was relatively closer, I think. I've got an interesting idea that's probably way too much. Oops. That was not the interesting idea. Really? <laughs> that was also not the interesting idea, but I was behind where I wanted to be on time. I bet I can make that work. Oh man! Okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> um, Alright, let's try this other idea, which is probably not intended, but... Yeah, I, I want to try that a little bit more seriously. I think if I go quickly enough, I can just skip that part. Mm. I don't think I can do wave like a successive or consecutive wave dashes there very easily. No, I can't. So I am gonna have to. I'm gonna have to utilize that lip of the the yellow block there. So what I was thinking is, um, I mean, I've, what I've tried, right? <laughs> is oh i can avoid having to use my dash if i fall through the block that's the key that's totally the key so i go on the pink block with my dash i jump on the right side of it and then i jump off and then fall through the block um and then it appears as i fall out of it obviously cling to the right side and then when it disappears i dash up right and over and then bounce and then do the wall bounce up, etc., and try and figure out what's going on down here on this right side. Okay, let's let's try that. What was going on there? That was weird. But basically what you saw there is what's going to happen. Why did I not have my There we go. Oh, why did I... <laughs> okay, I, I tried to... I tried to do it as quickly as I could, but... To no avail. Oh, I gotta... I thought I, I, thought I was outside of it, but I was not. No, no. So that's what the timing was. I thought I was like, oh man, did I actually get it? Did I get it? But no, so after I wall bounce off of this, it will be yellow. And by the time I fall dash right and then up right, it will already have not changed to, uh, to blue. Or maybe it already will have. And I just missed out on it completely because I took too long to get through the blue block. I don't know, actually. Darn, I already messed this up. Okay, no, that was not the case. It was just, I'm, I'm being really slow, so it's barely even finished with the pink block by the time I'm like getting to where the yellow block should be. Wait, why did I know? Wow, I was surprisingly able to make that work. Huh. 
Okay. What I'm going to need to do is time it. What I'm pretty sure is the solution is we time it so we double, we wall bounce off of this, we get the double dash. And then we land on the left side of that yellow block and then immediately jump off of it and dash to the right twice through the blue block um, before it obviously appears. Um, or obviously before it appears. So then we break free from it as we hit that bounce pad. The thing is... Yeah, we definitely need to do that. That's, that's what it is. Um, I'm like 99% confident. Not 99% confident in my wave dashes though. Oh nope, that's, I'm too slow. Ah, oh, still too slow. That's the gist of what we need to do. Um, but I don't want to have to use my, what's it called? My dash there to get onto the yellow block. I'm trying to stall in the air there as much as I can. Wow, I'm shocked I actually almost made it through that. <laughs> A little bit too fast. No! <laughs> what a wave dash. What a wave dash, guys. thinking is like at that point I mean <laughs> at that point what's the what's the purpose in even waiting to cling on to the yellow block there I guess I guess that does that does buy out some time so all right we'll stick with it we'll stick with it for now Almost. Oh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I made it though. Not the end of the level for those of you that got really excited. <laughs> just, uh, just a timing thing. Almost. I thought I could have saved my dash there, but no, not quite. <laughs> nice wave dash. <laughs> okay, let's give this a go. Oh no, I missed the wave bounce. Wave bounce. The uh, the wall bounce. Wave bounce is a different Smash Bros. tech. Okay. Almost there. We're almost there, guys. thinking like I gotta figure something out so I so I jump through it and then dash upright and maybe cling onto that right side of the block with the spring at the end. I don't know. We are really close though. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> I like never regained my dash there. Oh 
Oh, man. And then there are the times where I'd like just straight up fall and I'm not useful at all. So I'm still not able to make it over there. I need to I need to cling on to the, uh, the yellow block. I'm close. I feel like that's what I gotta do. Um, I've obviously gotta time it a little bit better so I don't get caught there. There we go! And wow. We're, what? We're just at another checkpoint? <laughs> we're just at another checkpoint? Alright, well, we're gonna have to continue Chapter 9, which has been going on for hours at this point, in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. <clears throat> I know that the music in the background can be so calming. I definitely appreciate it. I felt a lot more level-headed this episode. I felt like we were making some good progress. I felt like we even learned a little bit of a new mechanic, right? With delaying the appearance of these blocks by, I guess, occupying their space, uh, which is pretty cool. But anyways, I, I'd imagine we're getting really close, but we just keep coming up on these checkpoints, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>